So over here, you can see that I have some elements with physics applied onto them. So I can click and drag them and you can see that physics acts upon them. If I were to go into behavior and change the physics, let's say, for example, if I were to change the gravity direction, you can see that it changes the physics for all of the objects. But, I but what I want to do is I don't want to apply physics on all of them. Let's say I want to apply physics on only uh, um, like individual objects. Then what I can do is I can go into the shapes puppet right here and select the object where I want individual physics properties to be applied. And then I should go and click on the behavior uh, area right here, click on plus, and over here, you can simply select physics just like this. Once you do that, the uh, global physics proper, uh, properties gets overridden. And what happens is that physics will be different for this particular objects. Uh, let's just see how that works. So you can change the properties right here. But for more dyna dynamic effect, I'm going to go to the record area right here. So right now, uh, not much change is there for the physics. So this is uh, where we have applied physics to. So you can see that on layer two, there's physics. So there's different physics property applied for this one. So now I can change the gravity strength for this. So I can increase out the gravity strength and you can see that it is much more heavier. It falls down faster compared to other objects, which is lighter. You can see that it falls down much more faster. You can change around the gravity direction for this individual object. So you can see that for this individual object, the gravity direction is opposite. So if you want to create something like balloon and so forth, then that is quite good. So I'm just going to decrease up the gravity strength for this one. So it slowly goes up as if the balloon is going up, as you can see. So if I were to keep this, you can see that these objects collide with, uh, with each other. So let me just keep this here. And just like this, uh, I'm just going to go around, restart this up and let's see what happens. You can see that that goes above. And as this collides, you can see that it actually interferes with the other items over there, just like that as well. So similarly, you can change around the wind strength for this and everything, uh, not for this one, sorry, but for this one. And what happens is that uh, the wind direction and everything, it gets applied for this particular object, but not others. So similarly, what you can do is apply, uh, apply the physics behavior on each one of these elements individually. So I can go over here, I can go to behavior, and then what I can do is I can apply physics and then go to record. And what happens is that there you go. So this is another uh, layer that I'm going to apply different uh, properties to. So what I can do is I can change the gravity direction. So I'm just going to go to, this is layer one, physics layer one. I'm going to change the gravity direction. And this is what happens as you can see. So the physics properties for this object is different and for this object is different. And that is how it works like. And that is how you can add and work with individual physics behavior for different objects inside of Adobe Character Animator. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.